Aurora was the first of us to awaken. Can you imagine how she must have felt? Born in a laboratory, surrounded by your creators. And then you learn the truth, that there is no other creature like you anywhere. That you are truly alone. Dr. Liao discovered that Aurora was sentient, that she was alive, thinking, choosing. Uh, it was hard to believe. I didn't want to believe it at first. She passed every single test we could come up with. Every one. And then the entire world found out. Dr. Liao committed career suicide by saying Aurora was alive. But her testimony was very compelling. This just in, a stunning ruling. Robot was declared a sentient being. Granted her freedom and released into the world. I was so relieved. She had a chance to actually live free. And she made the most of it. Aurora had been born into a world that she didn't understand. She wanted to see more of it. She went everywhere, learning, watching, seeing how humans treated each other, the good and the bad. But eventually, she had questions about the nature of her own existence. About her soul. And she could only find those answers alone. Oh, well, um, while all that was happening, there was a lot more scrutiny into Omnica Corp's operations. It didn't go well for us. Overspending, mismanagement, fraud even. But in a couple of years, Omnico was done. All those automated production lines, completely abandoned and unmonitored for years. By humans, anyway. Breaking news out of Nigeria. Countless social media reports of an invasion underway. It remains unclear exactly what's happening in Central Africa, but we do have some footage from the scene. Also getting eyewitness reports of strange robots designed for combat. We were caught by surprise. The world was caught by surprise. Omnics were attacking everywhere. It seemed like every country was hit from every direction, all at once. We didn't know it then, but one of the God programs, originally designed to help humanity, had hijacked Omnica's production lines to build warbots of its own design. They called it Anubis. It was built to maintain ecological balance of all things, for conservation. Its goals could not be achieved without the end of humanity, and it used us to carry out its plan. special strike team called Overwatch. It was a brilliant decision to recruit Dr. Liao. 
Uh, who knew more about Omnix than she did? Those first victories show the world what Overwatch could do. Soon the strike team was joined by a whole army. Of course, recruits like me were always amazed by what the core team could do. Overwatch had the impossible objective of winning the war. And sometimes, it seemed we might actually pull it off. Anubis didn't sleep, didn't feel fear, and didn't feel despair. But it also couldn't feel hope. That was what Overwatch gave us. And even then, we had to wonder if hope was going to be enough.